just another little quick tip. I've got a quick access to bar, so I've put um, some animation shortcuts in there. You can obviously access them from the animation tab. I like to have them because it's very quick for me to get to those functions, so just showing all those animation. Um, if you don't use a quick access toolbar yet, I definitely recommend um, looking into it. We've got one on the Bright Carbon website that you can download that's already all set up. Um, but the more you work with PowerPoint, the more you can customize it to your needs. So I would definitely recommend grabbing that quick access toolbar. And I'm going to start with a really easy one, which is just the fade animation with what we would commonly call a value proposition slide. Um, by carbon, which is when you want to um, present to your audience the, the key points of your offering, um, the, the really important stuff. So really beautiful event space. I want to advertise um, all the good stuff about it. And then I might want to draw particular attention to a certain point. Um, and this is when you can, um, just using fades, um, do something really cool where you highlight one particular bit and then you can move on to the next point and the next point and the next point. So this is a good way to get a really sleek result. Um, something that, I mean, looks pretty cool, but it is entirely just um, fade animations. So um, just to show you how I've done it, I've got my original little square with the text and then I've got the highlights at the top. And at the bottom, I'm not sure if you noticed on the previous slide, but every time a point came in the green box, all the other one kind of faded back a little bit. Um, so these are the little masks that I'm going to put on top of the squares to make them fade back. So the, once I've got all my little elements in place, I've placed them now, like that for now because it's helpful to animate when everything's not overlaid on top of everything else. Um, so I'm going to animate them first and then put all of them back in the right place. Um, so I'm going to select all of my green squares and go to there, put them on the fade. And this time around, I'm going to say start on click. So they all start um, on the different click, which again will help with the pacing. And then once I've done that, I'm going to go with, for example, the first one. If this is faded in, I also want to fade in those three little masks to put the rest in the background. So I'm going to add fades and drag all of this in here. There we go. And then once I'm going to the second point, um, I'm going to fade this one out because we're moving on to the second point and I'm also going to fade this little mask out. So just fade out and again, I'm going to drag them in here and make them go with previous and then I'm going to fade this one. In. I'm just going to go into show mode with this in a moment to show you. So um, my first point is coming in, these little masks are coming in and then the second one and we're basically just swapping them around. I'm going to keep doing that um, throughout for all the other points. So just fade out and then fade this one in. There we go. And then fade out these. And fade this one in, I think. So it's, it's all about keeping track of which elements you're animating. And then I'm happy with all of this. So I'm going to select all of these different elements and align them center to where they should be. And if I now go into show mode, it should all look lovely. There we go. So again, just very simple fade animations. Um, but a good way to kind of bring a little bit of refinement to your slide, a little bit of pacing. Lovely. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to give it a like and subscribe to our channel. And for thousands more how-to articles and tutorials, visit our website, creativepro.com, and become a member today. Thanks for learning with us.